welcome back and in this video we will be exploring the great Florence Cathedral and historic square in the city center of Florence. So let's get started. And as you see with its huge almost oversized bulky dome, the Florence Cathedral Santa Maria di Fiero makes its presence felt. It's a spectacular religious center of the city as a baptistry and Giotto's bell tower. Looking back into its history, the cathedral grabbed the attention all over the world during 1400s for its unusual construction and designing of a masonry dome. Traditionally, such a dome is supported by buttresses. They are structural elements as you see in the picture, but they were promised to be ignored into the design by former Italian architects due to its political history. And it became challenging in those days to construct such a massive masonry octagonal dome for the first time. And that's the result of 170 years of work as well as the combined impassioned efforts of many generations of artists and architects. The inner part of the dome looks something like this and it's filled up with frescoes. The bell tower is the freestanding entity alongside the church reflecting the gothic style of architectural facade with heavy marbles in white, red and green color exported from different parts of Italy itself. The outer facade of the cathedral is filled with colors, designing marble cuts, murals and frescoes. And how can we miss talking about the Great East Door of the Cathedral, also known as Gate of Heaven, which is famously decorated with episodes. This three-ton bronze door become an icon of Renaissance, one of the most famous work of art in the world. It is also fascinating to know that these extraordinary panels were first carved on wax and later developed on a bronze panel which were quite expensive than marbles in those days. All in all, the church reveals a mix of civic and religious meaning. The cathedral's decoration as a whole aim at the celebrating the spiritual greatness and dignity of the human being. And walking further into another famous square of the city, Pisa della Repubblica is a vast quadrangular square in the center of Florence. Surrounded by cafes and elegant restaurants, it is considered the upper class salon of the city and is often a theater to musicians and artists. The town planning played an important role in the activity of this center. As Florence has a great planning, this center plays an important role as the center of the entire city. Where the two Roman roads cross each other, the Cardo and the Decumano, which are the main streets of the city center. To its next is another square with an old church named Basilica of San Lorenzo. The famous library is also a part of Basilica complex and the white stairways at the entrance is one of Michelangelo's most original works. With its outsize almost overflowing dimension and the igneous spiral shape of the stairs, it's a typical example of manneristic art and an introduction to Baroque expression. Moreover, Street of Florence is filled up with authentic Italian food, fresh galettos, and you can shop your favorite leather bags and clothings. <laughs> 